Hey there, this is a Swain counter video intended to fill you in on everything you need to know to deal with Swain when he's on the opposite team. So first off, what does Swain do? Swain is a short ranged AP bruiser who is able to deal constant damage to targets in close range while healing thanks to his ult. Swain is excellent at following up on CC thanks to his passive allowing him to yank CC targets towards him. Swain is great at dealing with melee champions as between his close range burst damage, ult's healing and Zonya's he's able to thrive when up close and personal. Let's hone in on his strengths and weaknesses. Swain's strengths are that he is very hard to die. He can buy a ton of time with the healing of his ult and using Zonya as a stopwatch will allow him to continue healing while in stasis. Swain has great synergy with champions with CC. He can either yank the target towards him or place his W on top of them for a guaranteed hit. Swain gets free HP thanks to his passive and ult, allowing him to be extremely bulky while building high damage AP items. As for his weaknesses, Swain struggles to deal with longer range threats. Unless his teammates help get him get close, he won't be able to connect with them. Swain needs time in his ultimate to ramp up the damage and get value from the healing. Targets who can shred through him quickly don't give him this chance. Swain is very ult reliant. Whenever it's on cooldown, he offers a significant amount less in fights. We're going to dive in specifically how to counter Swain, but first here's an overview of the major tips that we will be breaking down further in this video. So first off, maintain your distance. Swain's kit is very effective at dealing with close range threats, from his shotgun like Q to his ult drain on targets in range. If you have the ability to hit him from beyond that range, then do not move closer unless you're doing so to guarantee the kill. Focus him down. Swain needs time to get value from his ult healing and repeated passive procs over the course of a fight. If your team is able to burst him before he gets the chance, he will really suffer. See, seeing him is a great way to give him no chance to answer back. Make sure you dodge his E. Swain's E connects, he'll throw down his W and also yank you towards him to follow up with his Q. This combo is the best way for him to trade, so avoiding the route is critical. It's easiest for him to hit when you're at max range, any closer and you can move to the side or dodge it as it returns. Avoid or disengage from his ultimate. Swain's ultimate lasts for 12 seconds. During this time, he'll deal constant AoE damage, but is also able to build up a big burst pop if he's dealt enough constant damage with it. Disengaging completely and allowing it to time out is the best solution, but it's vitally important you avoid the final pop as it can easily chunk you or finish you off. Pay attention to his W. Swain's W has an incredibly long range, but it's pretty slow to activate. Once you have boots, it's quite hard for him to consistently land as long as you're paying attention. Whenever you're recalling, try and do it out of vision and keep an eye out from trying to snipe you for extra passive Saxon to stop your base. This also applies just generally when on the map as sometimes you'll try and connect with a slow to allow his team to engage. It's always good to think about when a champion is strongest or weakest. Swain is strongest in the mid game. On two items he's really hard to deal with and a lot of champions don't have the damage to shred through his extra HP and all the healing he's able to get. Swain is weakest in the early game, specifically before level 6. His Q cooldown is extremely long so he's not able to contest waves well or trade effectively and before he has his ultimate he simply doesn't have the damage to 100 to 0 a target. So let's start off with talking about how to deal with Swain in the early game. At this point, this is where he struggles to keep pace. His lengthy Q cooldown means he's not very good at trading and isn't much help if he's trying to farm under tower. Push him in and look to trade into him heavily to punish. Swain's combo at this stage will revolve around landing his E and then following up with a W, passive pull and Q. Be really cautious about his E connecting and understand the range. If he's in a lane with an ally with hard CC then it's vital you avoid this as well as he'll be able to utilise his passive on the back of this. As soon as Swain has level 6, the dynamic of the lane changes massively. Not many champions can beat him in close range with his ultimate as he receives instant extra health and heals a significant amount. Baiting out his ultimate is a great way to deal with this threat, but alternatively bursting him down either with hard CC or enough help from teammates is also a solid answer. Invest in early anti-heal. Swain heals a ton when he's fighting both from his ultimate and whenever he's able to proc his passive and drain a soul fragment. Reducing this healing is critical to shutting him down. Onto the mid game and at this point Swain is incredibly strong having completed his mythic and Zonyas. His ultimate and Zonyas are his best tools allowing him to deal huge amounts of damage while also avoiding burst with the stasis active. Respect both of these cooldowns and look to punish him when they're unavailable. Dealing with Swain at this point often depends on your composition. If you have the range to do so then harass him and poke him down from a distance. If you have short range composition then avoid getting too close to him and focus down his teammates. Otherwise try baiting him into popping his ultimate and disengage till it times out. Be sure to avoid his ultimate pop as it deals a large amount of damage if he's been able to stack it up. Swain will often combo his flash with this to catch out targets and burst them down so it's important to track his flash cooldown and play around it when he's fully charged his ultimate. You can see from the bar under his health how much damage his ult will deal, if it's full and red then it's going to hurt. 
Onto the late game, at this point, Swain still maintains his prowess in close range fights, but at this point, a lot of champions now have enough damage to shred through him quicker than he can heal. AD carries in particular can just burn through him with passive crits, so focusing him down is a viable strategy. Being trapped in Dragon or Baron Pit against Swain gives him exactly what he wants as his ultimate is able to hit every target within the enclosed area. Be cautious about starting up his objectives when he's in a position to approach. Swain's team fighting prowess is dictated entirely around the 12 seconds in which his ultimate is active. Playing around this is critical to reduce his value and if you're able to bait it then wait out he'll offer a lot less in the ensuing team fight. Let's get stuck into some items you can build against Swain. So first off, anti-heal. Swain's sustain is a key factor in him being hard to take down. Reducing this is vitally important, and the sooner you can buy some healing reduction, the better. Magic resist. This is a bit of a no-brainer, but extra resistances against Swain will significantly lower his ability to take you out. Champions who can buy early magic resist in their build, like Witsend, will find fighting Swain a lot easier and can look to challenge him in duels. Zon using the stopwatch. Swain's ultimate builds up until he can do that final pop and finish off his targets. Being able to go golden and avoid this burst damage can make the difference between him steamrolling a fight and running out of gas. Sustain and Anti-Burst Swain really struggles with AD champions who build items like Bloodthirst or Shield Bow. If they're able to sustain through his constant ult damage and survive the burst, then he'll run out of options while you can look to turn things around. And that wraps everything up for our Swain counter video. If you enjoyed this video, then you can find more counter videos on our website or in the playlist linked below, and be sure to subscribe to be alerted for when we cover a new champion. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again.